Jibon K. Loki. Papa Melt. Chernobog. Let's do it. And it start at the beginning of the match. We are lucky. Loki loads in first. Papa Melt still waiting. He is now loaded up. We have both contestants ready. Into a Gooseberries. Into a Griffin. I think Dree just created his own meta. <laughs> everyone's doing everyone's going the same star as Dree. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, he did buy two multi though. Griffin, two health, one mana. Going into a shell, going into a wing. Okay. Alright, this will be entertaining. Here we go. Both contestants about to meet in the middle of the lane. Loki checking out purple buff. Chernobog now visiting the lane. He's going to check out red first just in case. Yoki knows where Papa Mel is at and is setting up the ambush. Papa Mel knowing where Yoki's at. His ambush has been blown and the positioning favors neither one. Oh, first basic. Oh, all of Yoki's cooldowns are down at the moment. Let's see. Let's see what they both level. Both win for the normal start. All their abilities. Nothing crazy. Goes into the wall to take some poison off of himself. Interesting. Pops both multi and health potion. Papa Mel still holding on to his health potion. He was more worried about mana than anything. He's more focused on wave player than anything. Though we got worried, he's got worried about how much Yoki does damage to him, or else he will get his passive online. That's the thing about Shibalonke. You gotta be very careful of his passive. You don't want to give him too much poke for free, or else he can just be able to go super far with it. Now entering that half health mark. Papa Mel, now knowing that he's doing it, only takes a smalls. It's a slight favor for Yoki. However, it did cost him a little bit of damage. Pops the wing shard, but he's taking he's taking those bonus procs from Chernobog. As well as Papa Mel has to respect Yoki's damage. Yoki has to respect Papa Mel's passive as well. That burst. That burst on Chernobog's passive is not a fucking joke. All he needs is three basics on you, and that's it. Both very low. However, one of them has a global and one of them does not. Oh, that is close. Oh, mi barely avoids. Oh. Oh, it's even! It's even! Oh! The basic trades favor Chernobog! Papa Mill! Claiming! First blood! I had a freaking... <laughs> my gears stopped working thinking like, holy shit, what's going on here? They're both... They're both looking at each other square in the face. Papa Mill taking first blood is able to land those autos and clears up the gold lead and is now in favor of him. Buys a Griffin Wing. Buys a gauntlet and then restocks on health potions. So does Yoki. Ulting in, going on to the red buff. What he bear watch out. He does have damage mitigations. He can you can box a Chernobog with damage mitigations. He gains those and reset cooldowns and is all. You have to be very respectful when a Chernobog ults in. Oh the trades favoring I, if the traders are favoring both of them. However, one of them does have potions and multi potions. The other one only has a one health potion. Though he does have some form of life steal. It's only two percent, but it does add up. Oh, putting some pressure onto him. While he might not have the boxing potential as Loki does, he does have the wave clear. Until until Loki can get his gooseberries online, the wave clear factor will always be in favor of Chernobog. 
He needs those gooseberries online. Oh, he got to watch out for that dash. In fact, what is Loki leveling up? It is poison darts, but he's not leveling up the dash to get that explosive damage. However, Chernobog is bound. He leveled up the two once and is going into the one. Chests have spawned. Are right, now the side Phoenix area. Will either one of them be able to claim a chest? That is 50 gold right there. Does he? He doesn't go for it. Neither one goes for it. Blue buff is up. Purple buff is up. No, either neither one really going into the purple buff camp. Very interesting. Though, as you can see, it is a very, very noticeable one level lead right now. Only 600 gold, but that level lead still slightly in favor. He is ignoring the ult and now is focusing into Vicious Barrage. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, he gains 10% damage mitigations. And the clone is also slowing him at the same time. So you gotta be very careful. Yoki. Looking for any camp to get. Unfortunately, no camp is there. Both. Tied in level. But. Chernobog definitely has enough experience to hit the next level off of this minion wave. There you go. Use this vicious barrage. He's chunking. Wave clears in in Yoki's favor. Dashes aggressively misses the dash. Does not does not ult defensively. Yoki keeping us cool. However, he uses both wing and magic shell. Dashes down. He could ult. Dashes in though. Oh. Now he has no safety tool. Yoki used his shell, he used his wing, and he used his ult just to survive. Both have gooseberries though. So y Yoki is able to wave clear way better than what he once did. However, he's got to be careful. Goes into an Aussie and then into a tier 1 breastplate. Pop him out. Goes into a berserker shield it looks like. Level lead. Almost a full. No, he hasn't claimed wave yet. So it's not a full level. It's more like a half level. Oh, both trading autos. And nothing's becoming of it. He Leveling up. Ma Vicious Barrage. Max level. That's 50% attack speed. Yoki's got to be very careful. Not leveling up into Rising Jaguar as well. He is going to Branching Bola. He wants that extra damage. Now, really quick, let's check on how much damage Ioki has done. Ioki has done... Okay, so he's about to hit... He's about to hit his fourth stack. He just hit his fourth stack. Which, how much power is... It's five permanent power, I believe. No, it's six. It is... No, it's, it's five. Oh, that's a lot of pressure, though, but he wants to back right now. And Ioki knows that if he backs, he can just ult. Yeah, he's ulting up just to check. He can't do anything, so he's going to ult right back down. That was, that was just because he didn't know if he was doing red buff or if he back to base. Do you think I'm going to play another today? Because I'm going to go to the gym in a little bit. Well, what we can do is we can... You can fight one more game if you want. Or we can save that game for tomorrow. Because honestly, you will only have two games left. The winner of this one and then the winner of the loser bracket. And that's it. You're, you're Dundry. Once you defeat the winner of the loser bracket, I, you just win the tournament. <laughs> so you can you can just beat whoever's here, which right now, still anyone's game. Honestly, this is this is a back and forth game, so it's not favoring either one.
This, you know what? This might be our first game three set because these two are very tied right now. But we'll we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Yoki doesn't clear the blue buff camp. Clears the minion wave. Now goes for the blue buff camp. Am I the only controller user here? No, Dree is actually a controller user. Okay. Chernobog and Chernobog and Loki. Same level. No one really has a lead right now. Has a breastplate, Aussie and Griffin Wing. Has a Griffin Wing, Devos, Berserkers. Does have enough gold for that tier two. In fact, how much gold is in hand? Yeah. He can he can oh, he can at least buy a tier one right now. Potentially a tier two. Potentially though. But that's about it. No one really has a favorable gold lead. It's only 600 in his favor. So, no one's really... So, something big's going to happen. It's going to be this next kill, too. Which, the way they've been playing, the next kill might be soon. Because both of them have been at each other's necks for a while now. Oh, he had to pop shell. He pops a wing. Oh, goes. He has damage mitigations. And Arisa. Angus is the poison darts, but doesn't get to be saved by it. It is a tie. Holy shit. One to two. Neither one gets a lead off of that. Only 200 in favor is Chernobog on pa or Papa Mel on Chernobog right now. Neither one has a lead. The lead, the game has cleared up. Goes into a dominance, has a demon blade, and is now going for a light blade. He does have a tier one advantage, but Loki does have a dominance online, so he's got to be very careful. Now, did the experience lead? Oh no, this is this is a tie game. This just became a tie game. No one has a lead anymore. Though slightly in favor of Chernobog. Yeah, he just need if he kills a grunt, he gets 16. Yeah, it's it, the, the experience and gold tied. Confirms the red though. Picks up the red. That's big. That's big damage. Dashes in aggressively. Has to Aegis. Hides in the min wave. But the minions kill him combined with the passive on Chernobog that bursts him down. That is a revenge. That is a tower. That is potentially a phoenix. Oof. No, it's not going for phoenix. He's showing some respect. Wards though, and he is going for Bull Demon King. Will he though? He does not go for Bull Demon King. He is just trying to farm up. Okay. Goes for the blue invade though. Now is going for Kray. He might get a Blade Boomerang or a Demon Blade. It's not going to be Deathbringer. So he might go into an Executioner or he could go heavy into an Aussie. Goes into an Executioner. Okay. So both, both players do have a glyph that they can do. You got Breastplate of Valor going into Determination or Vigilance. You got the Executioner going into Ferocious or Heavy Executioner. Dashes away. Ults back in. Has to ult to counter. The slow on his one. The auto attacks. The slow on the ult. The damage mitigations and the speed boost on Chernobog means that is a game one. Four. Papa Mel.